Aaron, just how deflating is that loss now five straight for your team? Yeah, uh, bad series. Um, um, you know, it's just got to get better, um, period. Uh, I think we all know that. And, uh, you know, obviously we have an off day here and, and another good team coming in uh, <clears throat> up against a couple of tough pitchers coming in. And, you know, we got we to gotta get better as a group. Hicks had some defensive miscues in this one. What were you seeing from in the outfield that could have led to that? Well, I, I think I think the ball off of Kiermaier's bat, um, you know, he just read as, as being something that he had to retreat on and then just couldn't catch up in time to, you know, to get to it. Um, and then was with the runner on second just being super aggressive, you know, with his arm hoping to maybe have a play at the plate and it just skipped off his glove and that's so you know and and obviously when when we're not you know doing other things or or putting points on the board like we are it's every little thing that that kind of adds up Aaron you're for the most part overwhelmingly positive how do you remain positive when your team kind of lacks consistency and you have some of these sloppy plays to go along with a, a lack of offense um one thing is we got great players in that room. They do know that at their core. Obviously, we're getting punched in the mouth right now. Um, and we got to work. We got to work our way through it. You got to grind your way through it. You got to fight your way through it. And um, that's what we'll continue to do. Uh, continue to try and put these guys in the best position to go out and be successful. But, you know, you got to start having some small successes individually that carry over throughout the lineup. And, you know, and then that's when the confidence starts growing. But you got to start having some small successes. You know, the reality is the last couple of days, maybe we've had <coughs> intermittent some some better at bats here and there. But but it's got to it's got to improve. Dave Lennon, please unmute. Hey, Aaron, obviously it was easy to, to, to point at this game with, with Cole going as, as really the chance for you guys to rebound behind a strong performance from him. Yeah. He did provide that, obviously. Is it? I don't know if surprising is the right word, but to not for your team not to kind of get a, get a boost there, or just to kind of rebound, has to be. Does that add a little extra to it? I mean, it's it's come down. We we got to swing the bats better. I mean, period. You know, we we got our ace on the mound today, and um, just just couldn't mount enough. Um, um, you know, obviously no matter who they have going out there, typically Tampa is a challenging team. They're really good at limiting and uh, limiting runs. Um, but, you know, we're also, you know, by and large healthy and and obviously very capable. But, you know, we've got to start as a group just continuing to have better at-bats and, um, and trust that that'll start to turn it. Thanks. We can go next to Lindsay Adler. Aaron, when you see these issues that you guys are having, at this point, what is the plan to clean these up? Is it something like extra defensive work, you know, changing the lineup? Like, what are what are some of the concrete things that you can try to do to not repeat this type of play? I think it's continue to work. I don't know that it's necessarily extra work. I mean, because at some point you got to go out there and 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 do it. You know, whether we're talking base running. Def defensively, it's about being super consistent. Um, at bat wise, you know, it's about again not being obsessed with chasing a result, which which is hard to do when you get off to a slow start individually. You, you know, you want to get a hit so bad that um, that that can sometimes work against you. You got to have a good at bat, and when they do that, uh, when we do that, you know good things absolutely follow but we've that's that's what we've got to continue to do and and you know once that happens we start putting points on the board and and you kind of settle in and start you know even for guys that are at their core very confident because they're really good players that leads to confidence when you get settled in and now all of a sudden who you are starts to take over but i think when you're going through a tough stretch to start the season um you know, you have some really good players that probably press a little bit. Do you feel like some of these losses are sort of carrying through and just making it 
maybe more difficult to, to break out of this type of slump then? Um, I don't know. I mean, it's part of, it's part of being a big leaguer. You, you know, you've got to be able to work through the challenges, the, the, the tough moments and, you know, the good ones are able to do that. And, you know, right now we've, we've got to find a way to, you know, build on some small successes and, and start to play with that confidence and that swagger that this team has when they're going well. Take Ian O'Connor next. Please unmute, Ian. Yeah, Aaron, even though it's, it's only April 18th, when your team is struggling the way it is, does there ever come a point as a manager where you feel like you have to make a change in the lineup or in your approach just to give your team a different look? And if so, do you feel like you've arrived at that point? I mean, there'll, there'll be some things that I consider about shaking some things up, no question. I mean, done it a little bit, but, um, you know, when it's a little tough when you have a roster and, you know, that, you know, it's, it's, it's a little bit of a different era when you only have three and four bench guys, um, you know, but, but there'll probably be some potentially some more opportunities from guys that maybe haven't been playing as much. We go next to Brian Hoke. Please unmute. Aaron, uh, what went into your decision to send Cole back out in the seventh? I think he was at 98 through six innings. Uh, just felt like he was sound to go out there. Um, you know, he's our guy. He's he's built up to that point. Felt like he was settled into a really good groove there through the middle innings. Um, you know, just, you know, checking in with him. He was sound to go out there and – um, so I was very comfortable with, with sending them back out there and, um, you know, they, they, they put a couple good at bats to punch one across, but I thought by and large, it was another strong outing by our ace. Take a couple more. We have Garrett Cole waiting. Tyler Kepner, please unmute. Uh, yeah, Aaron, you talked a little bit about like not chasing the result and, and, and that makes you press and everything. Um, obviously the results are not there. What do you see in the approach? Do you see a lack of the kind of quality at bats that can get that result? Um, I don't see us chasing, like can get you in trouble. Um, you know, especially, you know, when you are going through a tough stretch offensively as a hitter and you are, you know, especially early in the year, you know, wanting to get on track and wanting to wanting to get that result. You know, a lot of times maybe you can get outside yourself a little bit and get a little overly aggressive and leave the zone a little too much. I don't think, by and large, we are doing that. But when we do get a pitch, um, we're just not consistently enough, not only, you know, hitting it with authority, but doing damage. And, and that's what we're about as a team. You know, when, when we get a pitch – to hammer you you got to take advantage of it you know the pit the pitching's too good um so i feel like the zone control is okay but when we get a pitch you, you can't put it on the net um you know you you gotta you gotta pummel it and and we're not doing that enough right now thank you we'll take another one in the last one with uh ron blum go ahead ron Hey, Aaron, you had said that there can be a tendency in situations like this to press. What can you say or do to help them avoid doing that? Well, I mean, that's 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 the balance you've got to constantly strike, you know, and, and that's, again, part of being a big leaguer, part of being a, you know, certainly a big league position player is, you know, when, when you're struggling to have results, you've got to be able to strike that balance between the urgency and the intensity – uh, of playing this game, um, but also you've got to be you've got to be able to relax. You've got to be able to go out there and play, and and that's a you know that's a difficult balance to strike. But if you're going to be a successful team and a successful big league player, you've got to be able to strike that balance. And that's sometimes the separator between great teams, great players, good teams, good players. Good players, bad players, or guys that can't stick in the big leagues, is you've got to be able to get through the toughness of this game. Um, and you've got to walk that balance all the time. And that's, you know, that's what these guys, I know they're capable of that, and I, I'm confident we'll get there. Um, but you got to find that. 